Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. And today we'll look at one of the hooks of React that is use reduce and how it's better to use instead of use straight in some of the situations. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've opened the docs of React the original docs here from reactjs.org. If you don't know about this site, I'll link that up in the description below. So here we are under the additional hooks and one of the hooks are use reducer. Now the use reducer is just like use state, like for handling state and all stuff, but there is a catch. One of the thing it, you, it is used is because to handle when we are using complex states. So when there are multiple states, it becomes harder to use use state and the code becomes too much complex. So we can use use reducer instead of that. Now use reducer is used just like use state, but instead it takes a function as a parameter and an initial state. The initial state is just like what you pass in use state, that's only one argument. But here you pass one function, that is one extra thing, the reducer function and a initial state. You can just uh, leave the third one, it's just the same. And what it returns is again, just like use state, a bunch of things. Like it's an array which has the first thing, that is the state. Of course, that will be initial state at first. And moreover, when you change the state, it will get changed here. Now here, the next thing is a function. Just like we have in use state, a set state function, here we have a dispatch function. Now what it will do, we'll have a look in just a bit. Now as you can see, I have opened my Visual Studio code. And what I have here is a simple React now what this React app is, just, it's just the most basic thing. It have all the boilerplate code that you need to run a basic React app. So it have, so what I've installed here is, let me show you, I have React, I have React DOM, and a simple no config bundler that is a parcel bundler. So that is all. And also I have added a script to run it in developer mode. That is all we need to run a little basic React app. And in HTML code, you can see it's all the basic stuff. We have a HTML tag, a header tag, and a div tag with an ID of root. And we have also added a script of index.js. So we have the basics stuff. So what we are going to make is a counter. First, we'll, we have imported, as you can see, we have imported use reducer. So what I'm going to do here is create an array of like const, then equal to use reducer. And I'm going to pass two things here, a reducer function and an initial state. So initial state can be anything. It could be a variable uh, value or anything. But since we are handling and you will be handling complex state, so it will be going to be an uh, object. So here we are creating an object with property count. And oh, let me correct this up and set it equal to zero. So the count first is zero since we will be counting from zero and we can increase or decrease with two buttons. We'll see that in a bit. Now we have passed a function and a state. Now what we are going to get is a straight and a function that is the dispatch function. Now we have these two and let me create a p tag and pass the state, the count value. So we have here, now let me pass this 
date dot count and close the curly braces so what it's going to do is it's going to print the value zero here so let us check that out so npm dev run let it run for time and we'll wait for it Now our build is ready to use. So let's get to the local host and the port is 1234. So local host and 1234. As you can see, it doesn't print anything. Well, why? Because we haven't saved the file yet. So let us save that and it will build again. And let's see what error it gives. Okay, the reducer is not defined. Of course, we haven't, we have passed the reducer bit, but we haven't created it yet. So let's create a function and it's going to be an error function with the name reducer and set it equal to now the reducer takes two parameters first is the current state and an action so we'll look into what action is but first let's create this now as you can see the zero has printed here so that means a state is working everything is working fine now let's create a button for incrementing and decrementing the value so let's create a button for decrementing and another button for incrementing the value button incrementing now that's it we have this and let's see if it is rendered or not okay so we have a button for incrementing and for decrementing. Now the next thing we want to do is add a on click function. Now here's the thing what we are expecting to do. So here we will be using the dispatch function. So we get a function, uh, again an arrow function that will call dispatch. Now let's say where the dispatch is. Well, dispatch, now this dispatch gets object and that object will have some value so it, the first thing will be type now I'll explain this in a bit but let's write this up again in this button too so what is going on here is we have the dispatch function and what it does is whatever is passed into it it is passed via action into the render function so this object is actually action so and this reduce function will have a switch and it could be anything it could be a switch function or a if else statement just to iterate through the action if the action is something for decrement it will be the logic for decrement will be executed and if it is for increment the, the logic for increment will be executed so here we have action dot type and let's do this now in this we'll will have different cases so the case one will be for increment and sorry my bad increment and what it will return it will return the state the state is whatever the state was before and 
what we need to do is add plus 1 to the previous state's count. So state, okay, my bad state dot count, state dot count, and plus 1. So what it does, uh, let me do this, since it's a prop, it's the value for count, so we'll be doing this. So count, which is equal to state dot count plus 1. The same thing goes for decrement, but instead of increasing 1, we'll be decreasing 1. So here we go again. Now here we'll be doing minus. So what we have done here is we have created two action that is that are okay let me do this this will be decrement and what we have done here is we have created two cases one case is for increment and the other case is for decrement so here what we want to do is whenever we press the decrement button that is the negative button it should call it should pass the, the type of the action as decrement so if the action type is decrement the key, the decrement case will be executed and it will pass or it will return the state where the state is the count of the state is minus one so it will be decremented by one and that is what it will return and the state value is changed now that will be affected here so let's do that copy this one to decrement and copy this one to the increment and let's see if that works the build is complete let's see so as you can see whenever I press this button it decrements and whenever I press this button it increments so that is all you do in use reducer I hope you found this video helpful and if you do press that like button and if you want these kind of more videos please subscribe us and that is how you support thank you for watching i hope to see you again in the next video